This is Headlines from Palestine. I'm Chris Smiley with If Americans New. Israeli Education Minister Naftali Bennett appeared on the BBC program Hard Talk with this to say. Really the Palestinian issue is a fake issue, uh, just like the notion of a Palestinian state is a fake state. It's not a massive and central issue in the, the international or regional discourse. What everyone in this area cares about is how to block, how to check Iran. That's what everyone in the region is thinking about. No one's talking about the Palestinians except for uh, studios in, in London. Well, so uh, it, you, you, it's really you, not a, a mainstream issue. Yeah. No one in the Arab world ever accepted the notion of a Palestinian nation. They wouldn't grant them a state. We've granted them a state in Gaza. They turned it into Afghanistan in the heart of Israel. We're not about to make that uh, mistake again. Those statements are false. The international community and especially Arab nations support Palestinian statehood and Palestinian rights. Meetings are held regularly by nations to support a Palestinian state. Just last week, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, composed of 57 Arab and Muslim states, gathered to reiterate recognition of the state of Palestine and East Jerusalem as its capital. They rejected the United States stance as dangerous and called on the international community to support its declaration. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas also spoke out against the United States policies in a meeting on Monday, saying, The United States has chosen to adopt a Zionist colonialist agenda instead of trying to achieve real peace. By deciding to move its consulate from Tel Aviv to occupy Jerusalem, and by recognizing the city as the unified capital of Israel, the United States has chosen to violate international law and various international resolutions. He also added that the Palestinians reject the United States playing a mediation role in the peace process and do not want them involved, saying the United States have chosen not to be a fair mediator and have made their bias very clear. Israeli Education Minister Bennett made more controversial statements, this time in a radio interview discussing the arrest of Palestinian girl Ahed Tamimi. Ahed is part of the Tamimi family, well-known activist in the West Bank village of Nabi Sala. As we reported yesterday, a child from the family, Mohammed Tamimi, was shot by Israeli soldiers with a rubber bullet and remains in critical condition. In the wake of this incident and the arrest of protesters, Israeli soldiers were on the property of Ahed's home. The Israeli army said a number of Palestinians then came out to the soldiers with the goal of causing a provocation. But as we see here, Ahed is seen telling the soldiers to leave. She tries to push them off of the property and hits them. The soldiers leave but would come back later, raiding the home, arresting Ahed, and seizing electronics. Education Minister Bennett said that Ahed Tamimi could face up to seven years in prison and that in fact the girls should quote, finish their lives in prison. That's it for today. Please share this video and catch us next time for more critical information from Palestine.